Hey guys, this is another guide for the molecular level quest uh, during the main quest, and this is when you have to build the signal inceptor. It's kind of confusing finding the parts for it, and even the build for it can be a little bit confusing. But beware, I chose to do this with the railroad faction. I'm not sure exactly how it works if you do it with the Brotherhood or the Minutemen, or if you even can. I'm assuming you can. But one thing I will assume is that if you do it with those factions, the parts that you need are going to be the same. It's just going to be in a different location. So when you clear out that first location, go here and start building. But be warned, the first thing you should do is check your current stash of junk because you're going to have to build a turret, and if you already have the parts to build the turret, which you probably should at this point in the game, that should be fairly straightforward. Just check your junk stash in your workshop and get the stuff from there. And also check for things like the sensor module, the bioscanner, and the military uh, panel, the military circuit board. But anyways, the first part here is going to be at Fort Hagen, which is an earlier uh, place that you visit. And this is where you find, uh, what's his face? Hannigan? Something like that? I don't even remember his name. But he's the, Kellogg, Kellogg, that's his name. <laughs> he's the dude uh, that took the kid, took Sean. So yeah, when you come here, you can just sort of follow my path and this is where we'll find yeah the military circuit board so this is just one example i've actually found quite a few of these in the game and i had already done like i already had one when i started this quest myself in my stash but i figured i should probably try to find one as best as i could so that i could show you in the video so yeah if you go through this door to the command center right there i ended up finding one so boom you can just go ahead and pick that one up carrying too much gear is tactically dangerous soldier Next location here is going to be this electrical club. Uh, there you can kind of see the location in relation to that bottom left portion of the map there where the radiation sea is. And when you come here, watch out, it's going to be really irradiated near the front there. But if you come around to the side of the building, then there will be a door on the back because the front door is actually a master lock. And also be careful in here because this place is highly booby trapped. There's laser traps and turrets and, and frag mines just all over the place, as well as I think a couple of feral ghouls. So yeah, just be warned. And when you actually enter this basement portion over here, the cellar, there's a tripwire at the bottom of the stairs that'll shoot a missile launcher at you. But this is where we'll find the sensor module that you can see in a second. And there's also, yeah, a few more traps down here as well as a robot that can kill you. So sensor module down. Now, for the biometric scanner, my recommendation is to get it from turrets. I couldn't find one, an exact location for one, but this Corvega factory, where the repair bobblehead, bobblehead is, you can check my video for that. But the, yeah, that the Corvega assembly plant, there's tons of turrets here. If you kill one, you should be able to find it. But now is the actual building part. If you come into special here, I already have the platform built, that initial piece, which you should too already if you progress this far to be able to find the other parts required. Then, yeah, you can come to special and you can build these different parts here. So, I, yeah, the console or the control console I put down right there. I end up having all the copper, steel, and rubber for that. And then this uh, huge thing you just replace over the platform there, it'll snap onto it. So, boom, pop that down. And then the satellite dish is the third one, the relay dish. So I just throw that down off to the side. And those are your few things placed down. So those are the objects you need, but now you need, need to power everything. So in order to power everything, you have to have these generators placed down. Uh, it actually takes me a couple minutes to realize this myself, and I edit all that out. But yeah, I build a few generators here. And you can see the power in the in the top of the screen there. It's red right now, power 8. I ended up getting it to power 28 before I have enough power to give power to everything at my base. But then, yeah, I, on that big tower there, you hit space bar. I'm playing on PC. And I attach that to all the different components. There you see me attach it to the relay dish. And now I put down a couple more generators to try and give my base more power. And end up running out of ceramic. So a little while after this point, I actually fast travel back to the Red Rocket Station and get more power. But here again, you can see me, you know, attaching the wires up to this tower because everything has to be on the same uh, circuit or whatever the Tinker Tom dude is always going on about. But I attach everything to the tower and this is where I leave to go to Red Rocket to get more ceramic from coffee cups. Come back, get another generator, place it down, and then you can see my power goes to 28 
And I get rid of that. And then I take my... Oh, need to wire it up. Come on, where is it? Wired up. And boom, power's green now. So everything's good. And you can see, there we go. Request updates, and that should be it. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped. And I'll let you find out what happens next on your own. Desdemona.